Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is looking at Pano2 VR Pro and how to use tags to filter images in the tour browser. Now in our last video we showed you how to um, add tags to the project and to your input images and this video basically carries on from there using the same project so we've got the input images already tagged but now what we're doing is looking how to filter the images in the tour browser using the tags. Now the reason for this is because Pano2 VR being quite powerful it can handle many hundreds if not thousands of input images Images, um, that could be a little bit you know of a chore to work with um, so what you can do is use the filter to limit the amount of images in the tour browser so with that said what I'm going to do is select the first panel and I'm going to uh, look at the filter As you can see under the tour browser we've got the word filter and I can choose one of three filters we've got distance text and tags I'm going to stick with tags for the second and these are the tags that we um, created in our last video so I'm going to look at outside so I'm selecting the outside tag so I'm filtering down so only showing the panels that have got the outside tag now if I click the tag I can invert the selection so that means I'm now seeing all the panels on the inside okay I can mix and match the types of filters I'm going to add another um, tag um, and that is going to be pop up there we go so now you can see that I've got one pano that's inside that has a pop-up if I click or invert or reinvert the output selection or tag you can see that I've got two outside panos that have pop-ups okay what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to cross off the outside tag and I am going to add a text tag to this filter and I'm going to type the word the and as soon as I do that, you can see that I've got one panel with the word the in the user data um, that has a pop up. Now, I know it's the user data because if you click this down arrow, you'll see that we can search for text within user data or file names, but it defaults to user data. And again, you can invert the selection. So if I invert this selection for the, so these are going to be all the panels that have a pop up that doesn't have the word the in it. OK, so that's quite cool. Um, right, I'm just going to cross these both off. So you can see that we can have multiple um, filters um, filtering the tour browser. But I want to show you the distance filter. Now, the distance filter comes um, configured to kilometers. I'm in the UK, so in the preference settings, you can change that to miles. So I've set my unit to miles. Now, the reason why I want to show you this is because Pano2 VR, if your input images are geotagged, um, you will have these ghost hotspots. Now you can hide all the ghost hotspots in the viewer settings, but if you actually do want to set some, but don't want to see, say, a thousand ghost hotspots sort of thick across the screen, what you can do is use the filter to filter the images, and as soon as the image disappears, the ghost hotspot associated with it will also hide as well. So as an example, I'm on the uh, distance, and I'm going to set my distance from my current location, keyword there, to 0 0.03 of a mile. And as soon as I do that, that ghost hotspot has disappeared because the only panel that I'm going to um, have in the uh, tour browser is the, the closest panel, which is 0 0.03 of a mile, and it's the one behind this um, building. Now, if I invert the selection, so let's bring that back, What's going to happen now is I'm going to be seeing all the panels that are further away than point zero three of a mile, so that ghost hotspot comes back. Okay. Now the other thing is if I if I sort of reinvert this as it were, um, what I want to do is if I hold down the Alt key and click the hotspot, you'll see that I've now got three input images showing instead of two with the less than point zero. Um, 03 of a mile and the reason being is that I'm now in the panel that's roughly in between these two and both of these are actually less than 0 0.03 of a mile away if I go to the end panel I then lose the first one because it's further away there you go so that's um, uh, filtering with tags and using the different types of filter within the tour browser and as always thanks for watching